Alright, hello everyone, this is 707 Bro Sam with another video. This time we're gonna draw the Ansley, um, if I pronounce that right. <laughs> so, as you guys can see on screen, this is how he ends up looking like, or she ends up looking like. So, if you guys wanna learn how to draw her, um, let's get started. I'm also gonna put up a reference right now, that way it'd be easier for you guys, and at the same time, you guys can know what I'm talking about during the video. Alright, so first of all, we're just gonna start with this uh, egg shape right here, and uh, I just want to say that I do end up making it a little bit too um, skinnier going up. Um, try to make it a little bit more round than I did. I, I made it a little bit too um, squished, if that means, if, if you guys know what I mean. Um, so I would have done it a little bit higher, you know, like a little bit uh, go, uh, bigger going up. So, uh, so yeah, so do this right here and then we're going to uh, split it in half both ways. And then we're going to, I'm using right here my... Um, my fingers just to mark off that the diamond that he, she has on the net on the head or you guys can use some paper here like I do or a ruler or whatever um, it's that line the first one um, it's almost the same length as the head uh, so you guys could just mark it off and then start it off from that uh, point in the middle and basically just do a circle like a perfect circle and uh, one of the things that you guys could uh, pay attention to is that on the left side of the circle it's almost like on the it almost lines up with the with the head with the left side of the head and the right side it doesn't it's just one of those small details that uh, affect the drawing or you know what I mean um, it's just one of those small things that you guys could uh, pay attention to see like I said I would have done the the circle at the bottom a little bit better but I work with it you know all right so now that we got that um, I'm gonna mark off the same thing going down so the same length to mark it down um, just for the body and it's not gonna be uh, up to there it's actually gonna be halfway from there as I do right now so I, I mark it off um, and that's gonna and I do a straight line going down just to help me uh, know where the middle is you know and then we're just gonna do the the skirt and uh, I just show you guys uh, I do a going a line going down the face, the sides of the face, uh, just to uh, help us get the the right length of the skirt. And as you guys can see, it goes a little bit uh, further than those lines going down the side of the head, just by a little bit, not that much. And that's just gonna help us place the skirt, you know. So now that we got that, uh, we could actually do the body now, and just try to make both sides even. And something you guys might notice is that it's uh, tilted a little bit to the right and that's because that's how the reference is so I try to stay close to the reference um, and try to tilt it just a little bit to the to the right all right and now I can erase those uh, lines and now we can do the bottom of the skirt so right here just mark off that it's roughly the same uh, length as the uh, the body the torso and just do half a circle So as long as you guys get uh, these shapes right here, then uh, it's all gonna be easy from here on. It's just adding details, and then right here I'm doing the the rock, and I actually do it a little bit shorter than I should have. Um, right here I was just looking at the reference and and getting an idea of how long it is, uh, but I do end up making it a little bit shorter than uh, it should be. So I'm just marking again the length of the head and then I do it once mark it off and then a little bit a little bit more like half a, li a little bit more than half or half or one I don't even know what I'm saying uh, so it's basically like one and a half uh, times the length of the head or the width in other words and then just make this shape right here it's kind of like a night corn shape uh, but like I said I do end up making it a little bit too short I should have left it like this but then like, as you guys can see right here, I make it shorter for some reason. And then this is where I made the mistake, you know, I should have uh, kept the first shape. Uh, so try to stick close to that. Make it one and a half the length of or, or the width of the head in other words. 
Remember, because the width is going up and down, I think, and the length is sideways. All right, so now for the year, you guys could just look at it or look at the reference. And then on this side, you could actually see the whole year. Right here, I just do a line just so I can show you guys that they should roughly line up. So this one's a little bit bigger because it's showing uh, mostly or every, or the whole year. And then right here, I'm just doing a straight line that it should roughly be or line up with the with the end of the skirt. I don't know if it's a skirt, but I'm gonna call it a skirt, okay? <laughs> All right, so now for the triangles or the diamonds on the head. Right here, I'm just marking them off. Uh, you guys could do the same, just put like points, and that way you know where each one should end and start. For example, this one starts off on the side of the ear a little bit. And it doesn't go further than the end of the skirt on the left side. It's just one of those small details again that uh, you guys can pay close attention to. And then this one starts off roughly uh, in the middle of the, uh, the diamond. And just try to make each one the same uh, length or the same size. And these actually line up almost uh, exactly. Alright, so this one starts around there. And then it curves. And this is the biggest one of all four of them so we could do this one a little bit bigger than the other ones and that's something that I do end up uh, making a mistake right here is that I make it too square it should be like a little bit longer it should have the effect that it looks longer so I fix it right here so I just make the the edge a little bit um, closer to the ear instead and it gives it that triangle look instead of a square look and then this one's uh, roughly the same size as the one on the left. It makes like the same shape. Or something you guys could do now that I'm looking at it is that you do each side like the, the triangles on the sides. And then the top you could just make an M going from one to the other one. You get it? No. Nope. So around halfway. And then the same thing on the other side. There we go. I think it ended up ma making it the same, but there we go. Looks better like that. So now that we got most of the hair done, we could leave that. All, all we need is just the details, but we could work on that later. So now we're going to do one of the arms. And uh, I just start off around there at that point because I could base it off the skirt. So I know it's that far apart from the skirt. So it just helps me, you know. So uh, that's one of those things that I do. And right here, I just make a line just to show you guys that. It should start like roughly on the same level and then um I do the same thing on this side I roughly mark off where the like points does that make sense and then right here I'm just painting uh, looking at the angle that, that that line makes on the reference So then I just connect them and it's just like connect the dots, you know, it just makes it easier. And now we got the hands or the arms. All right, now for the hands, is but it's a basic shape, you know, it's like two um, pointy shapes. And then for this one, I do this like pointy oval. And then I just do the other with the other finger sticking out at the bottom, like smaller, you know, like that. And just try to stick to the same size on both uh, hands. Although the left one does look a little bit bigger. All right, so right here I'm just marking off the diamond that he has on the chest or in the arms. And as you guys see, I made the point of where it should be, and then it goes up to like around halfway. And then this is where it, the point, the other point is, roughly in the middle. And then it just like connected dots, it all lines up, you know. And it makes this diamond shape. So try to get that diamond shape as perfect as the diamond shape that you guys could get, uh, staying within those lines. All right. So now for the long diamonds that he has uh, as hair, or she has as hair. Um, I'm just looking at the reference where they start. 
and as you guys can see it starts uh, getting uh, more thicker the more it goes and then right here I do a line because it roughly stops around there and it's uh, basically the same thing on this side but I think on the right side it's a little bit longer so once again it, it's almost at the same level as the skirt I don't think it's exactly like that in the reference but I just you know it's a simpler way to do it so it just makes it easier so uh, why not do it and uh, once again try to make both sides uh, both um, diamond shapes uh, even this is where I'm pointing out and then basically just uh, start and set a point and if you guys can't do that you guys what you guys could do is just uh, start a line like this going down the middle and try to make it even on both sides I, I do it on this side it starts the same on both sides you guys can see and that you just extend it a little bit longer and then you just connect the connect the edges and do the same thing on the other side and it just lines up perfectly you know so I did it two ways I usually I don't do that usually I just do it like that you know what I mean just guess uh, where the point is where the middle is but as I was drawing I was trying to make it easier so uh, I found that that way is, uh, it makes it just a little bit more easier to do so I haven't seen the Deonce or Deonce if I'm pronouncing it right I haven't seen the movie yet. I know, I know there's some movie over um, I haven't seen it I think it's already out but I haven't seen it um, so if you guys seen it let me know how it is all right, so right here for the skirt on the where it meets the actual skirt, I just round it off like I did right there. And now I'm marking off where the points are, so it starts around there. And then the other points uh, right there, so it's just like one, like I said, it's like connect the dots, you know. You know where it should start and where it should end, and then you just do the middle and it should line up perfectly. So this one's around roughly the middle. And it just connects with this one. And once again, it's point A, point B, and it just connects. It's one of those things that it takes some time getting used to, but once you do it, it just makes everything easier. So right there, marking uh, marking off the middle, just a small point, you know, it's not barely noticeable. And then point A, point B, and just connect them like that. So do it within the the ship that you guys did the half a circle for the skirt. like this so now we could raise those reference lines we don't need them no more uh, don't erase the ones on the face we are gonna need those uh, once we start doing the eyes all right so now for the diamond that's sticking out of the rock um, just do a straight line as you can see it comes off from that a little bump and then it, that's where it ends uh, in the middle of the other one or roughly in the middle so make this line right here the same length as the, the other one going down uh, just to make it a little bit square you know and then this one should be roughly in the middle of the whole of her and then you guys could just do those details in the middle although it doesn't line up the same as you guys can see um, just make it work for you they didn't uh, line up perfectly perfectly for me so uh, I just fixed it uh, just so it could look better on mine you know so right here I just changed the shape maybe give it a little bit more um, room so it's the same thing for you guys if something doesn't line up uh, because I really doubt that you guys are gonna do exactly like me even though we're going step by step nobody's gonna do exactly the same um, so if something doesn't turn out the same uh, don't try to copy it 100 percent because it's not gonna look uh, the same it's not gonna look okay uh, so just make it work for you make any small changes just so it can look better on yours you know because I don't follow the the reference 100 percent all right so now we can start doing the shapes of the rock 
I'm um, actually doing it right now, but after I'm done with the video, I usually go back and make any changes just to make it a little bit better, you know. Um, and I do end up making making it a little longer, the rock a little bit bigger. So uh, I do end up changing most of this. So although it's basically the same thing, so you guys can use the reference and just try to follow that shape that you guys did at the beginning. Uh, try to stay within that shape. That way, it could, uh, end up with the same shape. So that's what the that shape that we did at the beginning was for. And uh, it's just around the middle from the square that we did sticking out, the diamond. So then around the middle of that one, it just comes off. As, as you guys can see, it's pretty close to the diamond that's sticking out. All right, I'm just adding the small details, a rough sketch of it. And then it curves down around halfway and then it comes back out. And it just ends at a point. So as you guys see, we're still following that uh, shape we did at the beginning. And that's the reason why we made it, you know. It's just a guideline to know where to put those lines. Uh, because if you, would, if you wouldn't have done that, you would just be guessing uh, where it would be. Um, most of the time, it wouldn't line up uh, good, you know. So uh, doing rough lines or, or shapes uh, or for a sketch it just makes it way more easier so I recommend you guys doing that it just makes it a little bit better and more accurate on the shape and um, proportion of the whole drawing so as you guys can see we got most of the body there like now I can tell that it's the uh, just by looking at this even though we don't have the face or anything done uh, we could tell it's the so right here I'm just looking at it looking at at the face the eyes and I'm actually I'm really bad at doing eyes, so I do a re reference line right here, going from one side to the other. I just try to make it even on both sides because it's not gonna line up if you guys don't. Uh, you guys don't have to do that. You guys could just look at the reference. Um, the only reason I did that is because I'm horrible at doing eyes. For some reason I have a hard time every time I try to do an eye. Or two of them, I mean, I could do one, you know, but then the second one, I can't make it look like the other one. So it's basically like egg shapes, I guess. I'll just be quiet right now because like, I can't uh, talk about or give you uh, tips on doing the eyes because even I can't do them, you know, so you guys can look at the reference. So and then it, it does have another oval right there in the inside. And then on this one, it's a little bit uh, more, how should I say? You can see the shape a little bit more, you know? The one on the left uh, tends to be touching the right side and the one on the right, the eye on the right, it's, uh, you can see most of it. And then for the mouth, just do a small line. So this is where I told you guys that I should have done it a little bit longer because uh, the face looks a little bit too squashed like um, the mouth should be a little bit lower you know uh, but since I did the diamond like that and this is where I try to fix it the, but it just I couldn't fix it you know because I already did the diamond um, so that's why I gave you guys the heads up at the beginning of the video and now for the shape in the middle of the forehead is basically this shape right here A weird shape now we could raise the reference lines and right here the eyes don't look good I noticed that but I'm like you know what I'm not gonna be messing around with the eyes because I know I'm gonna take forever so uh, I'll just fix the eyes later once I finish recording uh, because that's one of those things that I do is that um, I go back and I make any changes uh, off camera just to make it a little bit better you know uh, so that's why I just want to save some time all right, so now for the horn that she has right here on the neck area. As you guys can see, I marked off on the, on the diamond that she has on the stomach uh, where the point is or where, where it should end. And I do it the same right here. Because it's not in the middle of the diamond. It's a little bit further. Uh, more to the right. It's closer to the outline of the diamond. And I just try to make 
uh, both of them the the same size the same thickness uh, just so it could look the same although it's not the same as the reference just like it's just so it could look like it's one you know what I mean it's the horn and now we start adding the details on the diamonds same thing on this side and once again try to make both the same although these right here should be a lot lighter um, if you guys are planning to color it uh, if you guys are not gonna outline it I recommend that you guys don't um, outline the, the diamonds and just color in the the shadows and the highlights on the diamonds uh, that way it could be a little bit better because as you guys noticed on the reference they're not outlined you know they are outlined with the same color with the uh, light pink uh, but they're not outlined in dark ink so now for this side over here just do a, a line a little bit coming off from there and it just connects with the bottom corner it makes this long triangle shape and now we're gonna do a rectangle going up and right now I'm just pointing out that it should be even all going up and then we just do a line a little bit going up and it just gives it that diamond look so if I was planning to color it I wouldn't uh, do these lines right now I would just uh, do them really lightly with the pencil and then and then just color the, the shadows and the highlights on the diamond you know and that way it could look a, a little bit better and more real alright so now for the forehead right here this is the hardest part I think uh, so right here once again I'm marking off the points so as you guys see it's pretty close to the edge on each side uh, it's closer on the left side so it's tilted a little bit to the left um, and just make a square shape so as you guys can see it's the the point is closer to the left on the circle then on the right on the right it's a bigger gap and then we're gonna do the same thing uh, but the other way you know the same square So right in the middle. So as you guys can see, we're making another uh, square shape. And what that does is that it makes all these shapes right here like the triangles. So don't look at the shape, uh, the square shapes. Just make those small triangles. You guys, as I'm pointing there, they're roughly the same size. So the more accurate you, uh, you are on doing those, the better it'll be. So here I just color them just so you guys can see the triangles, not the. Not the not the squares, and then from there just do uh, like if you you were gonna do more uh, triangles. Uh, but I do go back and erase it and I redo it just to make it a little bit lighter, and I leave a wider gap right here. As you guys can see, I'm leaving a gap. I'm doing an outline uh, because there's a gap right there on the reference, um, and right here it's a little bit too short. Uh, so I do go back and I change it. I do the same thing, but I just make it a little bit more to the left. And it basically, it just gives that gives it that a uh, diamond look. So you guys could do that in more detail, you know. Um, you guys could use the reference for that. Uh, I was just giving you like a fast uh, tip on how to do them. Um, but I'm sure there's a better way or or more accurate way of doing it if you guys pay attention. So we're done. And uh, as you guys see this, how he ended up looking like, I, I like how she came out, or she came out, I mean, I like how she came out, um, this is my first time drawing Deonce, uh, I like how she came out, actually, actually this is my second time, um, technically it's my second time, the first time I did it, and I ended up coloring her, and oh my god, I ruined her, it looks so bad, because I used color pencils, so I didn't have the markers for them, and it just look really ugly like she oh my god the eyes i worked the eyes so many times that it ended up being really bad um so this drawing right here is a lot cleaner it's a lot better um so uh, this one came out 100 times better than the other one uh and the reason for that is because since i did it once before i have a better idea of doing it the second time uh so if yours didn't come out good or anything like that just redraw it and I promise you that it's gonna be a lot more better than uh, the first time you did it because uh, you're gonna have a better idea of how uh, uh, she looks. So um, basically what I did was just uh, outline it again, make it the outlines a little bit darker. Uh, but like I said, if you guys are gonna color it, don't outline the, the diamonds too dark. Um, 
That way they could just be pink, you know, just do a, just look at the reference and look at, uh, look at the, the shadows, the darker areas, the lighter areas, and just try to do those. Um, and then it'll look a lot better, you know, you guys could outline it in like the light pink or, or the hot pink, whatever color it is, instead of uh, outlining in dark ink or pen or sharper or something like that, it's going to look a lot more better. Um, and that's coming from me, somebody that's really bad at coloring, but that's just one of those tips that if you guys do it, it's going to look way more better than if you outline the whole thing, you know. Um, so, yeah, so I just cleaned it up. I just erased some of those lines. Um, I actually erased the middle of the forehead diamond, as you guys can see, um, and I did change it. I just made it a lot more lighter because on the, on the video, uh, I did it a lot more darker just so it could be noticeable. Um, but here, since it's it is a picture, it's a little bit more better. You can uh, can see a little bit more better, you know. Um, so I uh, I did a little bit more lighter. Um, I changed the eyes, to fix the eyes. I actually like how they came out. Um, and I try to make the the same expression that uh, the reference has. She's kind of like uh, smiling, but she's still like kind of like mad or she's ready to fight, you know. And I did the same thing for the diamonds on the head, like the actual lines on the diamond i made them a lot more lighter and I actually did them i didn't do them on the video i actually forgot <laughs> so uh, you guys could just look at the reference or look at my drawing uh, but just look at the shapes that it makes you know that's basically it because diamonds is just basically shapes uh, it's mostly just triangles uh, so that's what diamonds are so as you guys can see uh, most of the diamonds on her is triangle shapes um and diamond shape which a diamond is triangles you know it's made up of triangles as you guys can see on the tri on the diamond that she has uh, holding in, in the middle of her body, um, it's basically like a triangle and then an upside down triangle, and it just has four sides, you know. So uh, yeah, so uh, just clean it up. Uh, if you guys see something that you guys could change, just change it. Uh, now that you guys got an overall look of your drawing, um, it's, it's another thing that I changed, like I said, I extended the rock a little bit more. Um, just to give it, make it look a, a lot more better, you know. Um, anything else that I did, I don't think I changed anything other than erasing all those reference lines that we did at the beginning. And I uh, basically just outlined the whole drawing a little bit better, a lot more cleaner, you know. And I just gave the rock a little bit more uh, texture to it. Um, the lines aren't, well, some of them are, but not all of them are like straight lines. Since rocks are a little bit rough, you know, the edges are a little bit rough. So the more texture that you guys give the rock, the better it's going to look, you know. Uh, but just don't go too crazy with it, you know, because it's just going to look weird. But just add, like, little bumps. Um, don't do straight lines, and it's just going to make it look a lot more better. Um, and I don't think I did anything else other than that. Uh, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this drawing. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos. I have a ton of how to draw Pokemon videos um, from starters to Mega Pokemon. So if you guys want to check those out, go check them out on my channel. Uh, subscribe if you guys want to uh, um, be notified whenever I upload more videos. Uh, you guys can check out my most recent videos. I have a link at the end of this video. There's an outro picture. And I'll have uh, the links to some of the newest videos that I made. And just a random video. Um, the first one I think is going to be the previous video. Which is a speed drawing of Groudon or Primal Groudon. Um, that one came out really good. And I did end up coloring it with color pencils. And I wasn't too happy with it. Uh, but I outlined it in a sharpie or a pen and it just made it uh, pop a little bit better, you know uh, So it did come out all right at the end. So if you guys want to check it out. I'll leave a link at the end um, and also for the For the related video, I'm gonna put my uh, Kyogre tutorial um, I show you guys how to draw a regular Kyogre and I actually like how that one came out. It came out pretty good um, It's not that hard. I think the onset is a little bit harder than that one uh, because the Ansi has a lot more going on straight lines for the diamonds and everything so uh, it, You have to be a little bit more accurate on that, you know, and uh, but I like how Kyogre came out and I also have a, a Re Rayquaza speed drawing that I did and I'll be uploading the tutorial for how to draw the same Rayquaza that I did on the video on the speed drawing um, after this one so you guys can stay tuned for that and also got like I said a bunch of other videos uh, from from starters to mega uh, starters, I've done Piplup, Servine, Froakie, Fennekin, um, Totodile, Chimchar, um, Tepig. That one came out really good. I like how Tepig came out, and I think that's the most the the starter with the most views right now. I um, also have a ra random Pokemon in between, like 
like Hunter Gengar, Mega Gengar. Mega Gengar is actually getting a lot of views. So uh, if you guys want to go check that one, you guys can. And uh, also I did like Lugia, Charizard, Charizard. You guys should go check that one out. I like how that one came out. And I did that one three times because uh, I actually made a mistake on the head twice. Um, so I did the first time I did the, the drawing right. I followed my own steps. And it came out pretty good, you know. The second time I did the same thing, but I only started on the shapes. And then I, I ended up making the head a little bit too long again. Um, so, and then I couldn't erase those lines. They were too noticeable. So the drawing, the tutorial was going to be a little messy, the video. So I decided to draw it again. So I had to draw it the third time. And the third time I um, I got the, the right uh, length of the head and the neck. So it ended up being a lot better. And the funny thing is that the, the the third drawing that I did with Charizard and the first one that I did look alike. It looks like the same thing. So if you guys want to go watch that video, I'm pretty sure your Charizard is going to come out pretty good, you know, because of me doing it twice or three times and following the same steps that I was doing, they ended up looking the same. And it's kind of weird because like once I, I look at one and then I look at the other one and it's just like really weird that just they look the same It's like if I trace my own drawing although uh, the first one was uh, like two twi uh, twice as big as the, the the one I did on the video uh, but go check that one out it came out pretty good um, and and also if you guys want to sh uh, share your drawings with me for example you, right now you drew the Ansi and you want to uh, share it with me and you want everybody else to see it uh, share with me on Twitter at 707 Rose Town. the name will be at the description and just share it with me or if you guys don't have a Twitter or your parents or you don't have a Twitter just ask your parents or just find a way to uh, get, uh, send me the, the drawing you know so I can get see it and I'll put it at the beginning of my next video so I'll put it up with your name and everything uh, so if you guys want your drawings to be uh, seen by everyone who watches my videos then um Remember to share them with me and also I just want to see them, you know I want to know how your drawings came out because basically I'm doing this for you guys You know because there's a lot of people that uh, show you how to draw Pokemon But they just speed up themselves drawing it and they just put on music. They don't really go step by step So uh, I wanted to change it up and make a I'm not sure if they're a hundred percent better than other people's or a lot more better But it just makes it a little bit more easier in my opinion um, so hopefully you guys find them uh, useful and and let me know how they turn out let me know what I can improve let me know what I could do to change uh, to make it better um, so yeah so don't forget to leave a like it really helps me out and subscribe for more videos and I guess I'll just catch you guys on the next video 707 Rose Town out